we all know that Medicaid coverage expanded under COVID because of the national pandemic. There was a pause on kicking people off of this much needed healthcare service that um, allows low income pregnant women, children and the disabled to access care uh, at little or no cost. Medicaid covers millions of people around this country. But now because COVID is no longer a pandemic um, by declared by the federal government and all the money in Congress and the Senate has completely dried up treating it as a pandemic. That means that this extra money for Medicaid is going away. And that means that people are being kicked off of their health insurance. So many red states are kicking people off of their insurance. But the one state that is just truly leaving everyone else in the dust when it comes to being cruel is, there you are, Sarah Huckabee Sanders is Arkansas. Yeah, Arkansas has kicked off 140,000 recipients of Medicaid since April as Republican Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders is following what former governor Asa Hutchinson was doing as well. Um, and they're going to finish the redetermination process in just six months, which is a fancy way of saying we're going to take away people's health care uh, and leave them without any care. Again, the most vulnerable folks, the folks who need it the most. Um, while all states, and this is from Politico, are removing people from their Medicaid rolls, several Republican states appear to be moving at breakneck speed. No state is moving as quickly though as Arkansas, where Republican Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders has embraced her predecessor's plan to complete the work in about half the time other states are taking. An aim many fear will lead to eligible people mistakenly losing coverage. Seven in 10 Arkansans who have lost their coverage have been dropped for procedural or administrative reasons. According to state figures, that means the government hasn't determined someone makes too much money to qualify for Medicaid. Rather, the person failed to respond to a letter or provide extra information to renew their coverage. In some cases, people are losing coverage because of system glitches. So one of those people, um, Susan uh, Kalpiner, who is actually works in this field, Outreach and Patient Services Coordinator for Mid Delta Health Systems, Federally Qualified Health Center in Clarendon said, 50 or 60 of the clinic's patients have lost coverage in the last two year, two months, excuse me. 50 or 60 have lost in this in the last two months. Some days she said, it's been too much to handle. Um, now this is, I, I just wanna explain, I and mean, if we don't know already, it is already um, a hall of mirrors to qualify for something like Medicaid. Um, there have been many stories of new moms, right? Or pregnant women, people who become eligible for Medicaid to be kicked off because they were making too much money to qualify, so they are stuck in the middle of this sort of like space time continuum of our you know, social programs. They make too much money to qualify, but not enough money to pay for healthcare on the so called marketplace under the Affordable Care Act, which is again, not at all affordable. So that's what Medicaid's already doing. Now they're saying, oh no, you still qualify, you don't make enough money, you could still qualify, but you just didn't turn in the paperwork on time. Oh, Okay, guess we're saving. I mean, Mondale, you're a mayor. Um, the way the 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 incredible crassness by which this is carried out by Governor Huckabee Sanders and other Republican governors just is that any way to take care of your own citizens? Well, I mean, not even your own citizens. I mean, you you tell me you're a party of God principles, morals, right? And then I remember Jesus saying, what you do for the least amongst these, you do for me. I don't know how they reconcile this unless they don't really have a, di they must have a different Jesus. And it's about corporation Jesus, right? Yeah. I mean, like the idea, the idea that Arkansas being one of the poorest states in the country and want to be the fastest at kicking people off of Medicaid is telling me that you want to kill people faster than Texas, right? Yeah. And this is absolutely disgusting. And we have to rectify the fact that in the Delta, where, where these people are, where Clarendon is, we see some of the poorest people, which means they're probably a transient population. So you probably sent a letter to an address that's no longer their address anymore. Right. And you're kicking these people off. Off. People appointments are literally being canceled, canceled. So it's not enough that you're taking women's access away, but now you're going to take Medicaid away from the people that need it the most. And right now in this country, there are about 90 million people who will be, you know, reviewed to see if they still qualify. And something like this, seven out of ten aren't even because you don't qualify is because of something procedural or administrative. That is tacky to me. That should be illegal. This is this is the government. This is state sponsored murder. That's yeah. what this is, and that's not hyperbole.
Not at all. And and I think there are people watching who are on Medicaid. So I just want to say, you know, make sure to check your mail, double check. Don't let them kick you off of it for some BS like this. It's all BS, right? In terms of, you know, um, kicking folks off who you know make too much money, which again is still not enough to buy healthcare. They can't kick you off. So anyway, that's aside, but just you know, eyes open, everybody stay aware because don't let them take your healthcare coverage away. Um, Ideally under any circumstances, but under these ridiculous pretenses. Now, speaking of you know the breakneck speed, the Biden administration knew this was coming. They knew it was gonna happen, especially when the when COVID was you know declared non-emergency. But this is CMS headquarters, uh, um, uh, the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services, to let you know that they're like, whoa, 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 too fast, too much. What's going on? So um, the Biden administration has said. Can you slow it down, red states? Um, CMS, however, is refusing to call out any state, and this is according to Politico. But they did hold a press conference Tuesday to warn states against moving too quickly and said the agency could pause disenrollments if it felt the process was rushed or sloppy. Then do it. Okay, this is a quote. We're urging and asking states to do everything in their power to keep eligible people covered. Daniel Sai, CMS Deputy Administrator and Director of the Center for Medicaid and, S- and CHIP Services, told reporters on Tuesday. The announcement followed a Monday letter to governors from HHS Secretary Javier Becerra saying he was deeply concerned with the number of people losing coverage. Yeah. Because Republicans are gonna Republican. And even though you got them to say they're not gonna touch Medicare, because they need old people to vote. When it comes to poor people, no, they don't care. And they know who disproportionately the poor are in their states. They're black and brown people. So they're women, they're children. You know, it doesn't matter if they're children. Like Mondale said, uh, corporate Jesus doesn't care about children. Oh, unless. Those children need to be sent to meat packing plants to work between, you know, uh, before they go to school and after they come back from school. Unless those children, because again, Governor Huckabee Sanders lowering the age of eligibility to work to, I don't know, what is it now? Like 14, 13, 12, who knows? Who knows? So they don't have health care. It is so cruel. I don't understand. <laughs> like, just one thing, and this is the thing, uh, Mondale. You know, in the wake, as you mentioned, of a lack of access to reproductive rights, a lack of access to abortion, you had a little whisper, right? There were like, you know, Marco Rubio was saying something, and other people. They were like, oh, well, maybe we'll expand health care to pregnant women. Maybe we'll get kick people off of Medicaid. Like, Medicaid does expand coverage, and may I remind everyone? That I believe 12 to 14 red states still haven't expanded Medicaid stipulated under the ACA because it's the ACA, aka Obamacare. So they hate Obama still so much that they won't expand Medicaid to cover more people in their states. And by the by, guess who picks up the tag, the, the, the tab on that? The federal government. So the federal government is still offering them money that they're leaving on the table. So if you live in a red state right now, there is a huge chance that you still could qualify under the ACA's you know, suggested rules for Medicaid. But your governor and your senators are saying, nope, no, we still hate Obama in the year. What is it? How long has Obama been out of office? Oh, a couple, a little bit more, sorry, just to. Um, just in terms of those big numbers, I think Mondale was referencing um, as many as 15 million people, including 5 million children, are expected to lose Medicaid in the coming months. And what will be one of the largest shifts in the nation's healthcare landscape since the passage of the ACA? People should be concerned. This is not a way to run a system. I say that. Across the country, and for any state, Sai said in an interview, should we create a system that's complicated and difficult to follow? No, that should be an uncaveated answer. Hey, you know what's really simple and easy to follow? Medicare for all, universal coverage, the simplest. Mondale, how have we been told this pack of lies that somehow universal coverage is more bureaucratic than whatever the hell this is? Yeah, I mean, in Cuba, black people aren't losing their legs to diabetes. Cuba. Has had universal health care since 1973. Cuba, this country that Americans like to talk about how poor they are, but they got enough decency to make sure that everyone has access to health care. And in a country that is supposed to be the greatest country where flags fly higher than any other country, in a country where eagles fly upside down because it's too great <laughs> to poop on, 
we still see people dying because the governments refuse to give people health care. My ass. And and it's also so passive. Do you know what I mean? Like the way that the Biden administration is like, hey, we can you just slow it down a little bit? Maybe this is bad. Like, well, then do something. Then declare it an emergency. Say, I don't care that this that there is no more, you know, funding for research or whatnot. Just save one thing. We've learned nothing coming out of this pandemic. And the number one thing, I mean, look, I'm not a religious person. But if there was a sign from God that the United States of America needed, the richest country on earth needed universal health care, it was the COVID-19 pandemic. And we still can't even give limited health care to the people who need it the most. You don't care about pregnant women, you don't care about the poor, you don't care about children at all. Get the kids and children out of your mouth. You don't care about them because you won't give them the basic needs and services to just live a healthy life.